everyone. Welcome to Space Guitar's new cooling concept. My name is Greg. I'm going to take you through to the whole system. Actually, the system was developed in this research lab of the company, and it was designed by two beautiful Hungarian uh, engineers, Ferenc Eftis and Gabriela Pöblu. This model that you can see here in this lab was built this March in 2015. So what we did, actually, we built up the stands, part of the stadium, and we also put the cooling panels on the stand. Then we heated up the whole laboratorium up to 50 Celsius degrees, and um, then we turned on the cooling system. The aim was to produce and maintain a comfortable 26 Celsius degree air on the level of the viewers. And here comes the great news. You won't believe it, but it took the system only 20 minutes to reach the desired temperature, and then it was constantly maintained for hours. The planned energy source to feed the cooling system is a solar farm. Using the sun's energy, between 8 and 5 Celsius degree cold water can be produced constantly, which is continuously circulated then in the cooling uh, panels on the stands. Now, what's inside the panels? It's a special material called PCM, which is used to store and regulate the intensity of cold and fluid temperature. You can see the fans on the top of the panels that blow the 21-24 Celsius degree air onto the level of the seats. What's really great about this system is that we can turn just as much sunlight into cold as is enough to reach the comfortable temperature in the stadium. By circulating the cooling water 24 hours a day, it's comfortable for the viewers to stay inside the stadium for 5-6 hours every day in a comfortable, lovely 26 Celsius degree temperature zone. In this lab, the cooling water is supplied from the water network, which is 12 Celsius degrees. Remember that with the solar farm, we can produce even 8 Celsius degree water, which makes the system even more efficient. We know it from physics that cold air is heavier than warm air, so it descends, resulting that the whole cooling process on the viewer's level becomes kind of self-maintaining, while in the higher zones the temperature levels off with the hot. With the help of this small, separate device, we can also demonstrate the heat storing and temperature regulating capacity of PCM. As you can see even with this small one, latent heat storage can be maintained for hours without any outside energy source, and what is beautiful is that the machine, actually the fan, as there is no other moving part inside, still uses no more than just 3 watts per hour. That's how much your TV standby light consumes in 3 days. In the case of this device, the air is 41 Celsius degrees when it enters, travels less than 3 feet, 90 centimeters, and is 26 Celsius when it leaves the machine, which means an unbelievable difference of 15 Celsius degrees. So, we made this video to demonstrate the efficiency of our system. Actually, needless to say that uh, this system has already been further developed by our two engineers, Ferry and Gobi. They are constantly working on other applications and other fields of application. So, what you have just seen here is definitely the future of a green cooling system based entirely on renewable and infinite energy source, our sun.